Hey everyone, welcome back to the Goff House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny, and today I'm just giving you a quick what's up, um, talk about a couple things, what, what we've got going on, and clear up a couple things also. Um, first thing, uh, I, when, sometimes when I'm cooking, I add things in and I say that I'm using Thrive Life I'm, or I'm using a Thrive product and I've got some questions about it. I think some people are confused between Thrive Life Foods and Thrive Market. So I just want to clear it up really quick. Um, Thrive Life Foods is freeze dried and Thrive Market is a whole separate market. So th if you're interested in Thrive Life Foods, uh, fried, Thrive Life freeze dried foods, I do have a link in the description box below. Now, I know I talked last week about be, you know, if you're interested in becoming a consultant and it's a really easy way to build your pantry if you're a consultant, but it's also easy to build your pantry if you just would like to go on monthly delivery and use it as part of your grocery bill. Um, I started out actually doing that before consult being a consultant. so. Um, also a great way to build your pantry if you're interested. If you have questions, you can certainly email me and I'll get right back to you with answers. <laughs> but I think it's a great product. I love it. I use it a lot. I use it for convenience, but I also use it for shelf stability and you know, I keep some of the stuff kind of kicked back for long-term storage. So anyway, Thrive Life Foods and Thrive Market, two separate companies. Um, so hope that helps. Um, next thing I want to say, ooh, the next thing because I've you know got my new camera and I keep looking over to the side. It's gonna be a little while until I get used to this. I want to show you my new T-shirt. Ha <laughs> ha! Heavy metal mom. My son just got this for me. <laughs> it's so cute. I absolutely love it. <laughs> anyway, new favorite shirt here. <laughs> so anyway, I want to show that off. Next thing I want to do is I want to announce the March collab. I wanted to do it a couple days ago, but I didn't get the chance to. Um, it is Marching In With Casseroles. And this is a collab put on by Greg over at Greg's Kitchen. <laughs> there are some other great channels involved and I will put the link to Greg's Kitchen and the rest of the channels that are participating in this awesome collab in the description box below because you're going to want to go over there and to Greg's Kitchen and to all the rest of the channels. Watch all of their videos. Casseroles, they're hardly, there isn't hardly anything better than a casserole, okay? <laughs> Soups and casseroles, my personal fave. <laughs> also with this collab, just like the past two collabs that we've done, uh, Greg is gonna be giving away a casserole dish set at the end of March. So you're gonna wanna go watch the videos again, comment on the videos and for your chance to win a new casserole set. And I believe they come with casserole carriers. It's a really nice set. So um, he'll be giving that away at the end of March. And for all the details, make sure you go to Greg's video. Um, so I will put all of his information in the description box below for you. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. And I've already watched the videos that have uh, already aired, so. <laughs> And you're going to want to go back and watch those four videos as well. I believe my day, I believe my day for uploading is March 17th. So St. Patty's Day. So you can guess maybe what kind of casserole I'll be doing. It's a surprise. <laughs> okay, what else? Um, this week I might do one or two canning videos. I think I might do a chicken canning video for you and... I'm not sure on the second one yet. <laughs> I have a couple of ideas of things I want to do, but I don't want to. I don't want to be for sure tell you I'm going to can something and then I don't get the chance to do it. So um, I'm definitely going to do a chicken canning video for you again this week. Um, I may dig out also, um, and I won't do a video on it, but I might just bring you along for a vlog day, a uh, day in my life when I'm busy canning and doing all these things and just kind of drag you around with me. <laughs> So I need to do some more spicy pork. Spicy pork is my absolute favorite. That's the ball recipe. It is my absolute favorite thing to can. I love it. I use it for everything and definitely for tacos and nachos and burritos and oh my gosh, you can use it for everything, but um, that is my favorite. So I'm out of spicy pork and I canned a lot of it. So I have, I, when I was cleaning out my freezers to do freezer meals, I found a couple big shoulder roasts in there. So 
um, pork shoulders. So I'm gonna bring those out and defrost them this week. I'll probably do it this weekend so that next week I can can them. Um, but I need more spicy pork. I will never have my shelf empty. I have one jar left. And before that jar disappears, I'm gonna can a whole bunch more. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much I love that stuff. So if you haven't canned the ball recipe spiky, spicy pork yet, I'm telling you, you should. It is so good. So I'll do that and I'll probably just vlog it with you and can bring you along uh, instead of doing a canning recipe because I've already done that. And then the I'll do a chicken one and I don't know what else. I'll probably start doing a few Irish dishes, of course, because we're leading up to St. Patty's Day. I actually make a lot of Irish food around this house anyway, so um, I'll probably just bring you along for some of those recipes as well. So those won't be necessarily canning recipes, but definitely cooking recipes, dinner recipes. I am headed off to the grocery store here in a few because cabbage is three pounds for 99 cents. Um, down to the market down the road here. So I'm gonna run down there and get tons of cabbage. So I'm gonna have lots of cabbage for this month. <laughs> so you know, cabbage potato casseroles, cabbage potato soups, just cabbage and potatoes. I don't care, I love it. <laughs> also, I've been using my freezer meals and every time I use a freezer meal, I post it on my Instagram. So if you haven't started following me over on Instagram, you can find me at JennyGoff18, and every time I make a freezer meal, I post a, a picture of the finished product. So if you're interested in how they turn out, I did freezer lasagna the other night, last night, and I posted it so good in a quick meal. And today, I actually um, have been running around all day shopping, so I came home, put one of my meatloaves in, and um, ran out to finish the shopping, and I came back, and I had a half an hour till it was done the stores across the street <laughs> quick made some mashed potatoes and I steamed some fresh green beans super quick meal I love it <laughs> anyway I think that's about all the updates that I have for you so um, Sunday possible sewing tutorial so look out for that it's something really cool and kind of handy and it would make a great gift. So, so on Sunday, you can look forward to that. Next thing I want to talk about, I'm sure you've all already heard the news. One of the homesteading channels that you all probably watch, um, Heather over at the Needy Homesteader has some tragic news. Um, it's just awful. We all feel terrible for her and gosh, you know, it's, you, you just never know when things are going to happen and that's not even something you can prepare for hardly, you know, uh, at least not emotionally. So it's very tragic, very awful news, and we, she is in all of our thoughts and prayers, believe me. Um, if you would like to support her, you can definitely go to her Facebook page and her YouTube page, and you can donate to her GoFundMe. Um, you can also play her videos, whatever you would like to do to support her um, during her time of need. It's great that we have this awesome community that cares so much. I really appreciate all of you, and I know that she does too. Anyway, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me for a few, and I will see you soon.